Welcome to the Volusound Performance Series video tutorials. 3D Gynecology When planning to acquire a 3D volume, there are certain settings you must optimize. Before you begin, ensure that you are using a Gynecology 2D imaging preset and that the area that will be the center of the volume is the 2D imaging plane that you begin with. In this example of a uterus, you will begin in the mid-sagittal plane. To start the acquisition, select the 3D40 hard key and choose 3D from the display menu. 3D40 has its own set of presets, so when preparing to acquire a volume, select an appropriate 3D preset and confirm that sectional planes is selected. A region of interest or ROI box will appear on the monitor that you will place over the area that you want to acquire as a volume. You can position and size this box using the trackball and set keys. The area within this ROI is the anatomy that will be included within your volume. When acquiring a 3D volume, you must also ensure that the width of the volume will encompass the anatomy you need to include in the volume. This is controlled by the volume angle. The volume angle will need to be set appropriately to help ensure the suite begins lateral to the uterus and ends after the transducer has traversed the entire sagittal uterus as seen in this graphic display. The resolution of the volume is controlled by the quality setting. As in 2D, most image quality enhancement settings are a trade-off with frame rate. The higher the quality setting, the slower the acquisition will be, thus collecting more information in your volume and increasing resolution. Once you have these parameters set, you are ready to acquire your volume. Begin by scanning in what will be the center of your volume. Select the Start Trackball key to enable the probe to begin acquisition. The elements in the probe will scan from one side of the uterus to the other. Once the acquisition is complete, the volume will be displayed in the sectional planes view. Selecting the Freeze key or Volpre Trackball key will cause the system to return to a live scanning state, so it's important to store the volume as soon as the acquisition is complete. In this quad display, the upper left image is known as the A plane, the plane of acquisition. The upper right image is known as the B plane, which is 90 degrees orthogonal cross section from the A plane. The lower left image is known as the C plane, which is 90 degrees orthogonal in the horizontal direction of the A plane. The parallel shift control knob will pan through each of these planes to evaluate the anatomy in more detail. Select the reference image by using the trackball keys. The axis dot is the same point in space in all three planes, so as you use the trackball to move this dot in one plane, the other planes move accordingly. In addition to these controls, there are also three rotational choices of each of these planes. The x-axis rotates the plane on a horizontal axis at the level of the axis dot. The Y axis can be accessed by pushing the PW control knob until Y is highlighted. This rotates the plane on a vertical axis at the level of the axis dot. The Z axis rotates in plane, like a cartwheel around the axis dot. The easiest way to view the uterus in 3D is to use the Z technique, meaning the only axis you rotate is Z. First, Place the axis dot at the level of the endometrium in the A-plane. Rotate the A-plane on the Z-axis until the endometrium is horizontal. Use the trackball key to activate the B-plane, then rotate the B-plane on the Z-axis until the endometrium in the transverse plane is also horizontal. Use the trackball key to activate the C-plane and rotate on the Z-axis until the fundus is upright in the 12 o'clock position. You can also bring up the C-plane as a single screen, then parallel shift through it. This plane of the uterus is unique in ultrasound 3D imaging as it is not a plane accessible in 2D imaging. The Volusound Performance Series is an easy to use system with excellent image quality and performance to help meet the needs of your practice.